All right guys, one of the fragrances I've been anticipating for a while now is finally launched and I've got a full review for you here today. This is from the house of Indult Paris and it's My Juju. This is a long anticipated fragrance and also a long overdue fragrance for this house, which is mostly known for Tijota. I don't know if you know of this fragrance, but today another vanillic fragrance, but very, very different than Tejota. That's what uh, my Juju is. And you know what? Since this is being sold at Lucky Scent, they are doing a promo code just for you guys. It's Tenjara and you get to save 10% off of most everything in the store. Either way, guys, I'm gonna let you know all about Indult Paris, my Juju coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian, and yes, today I'm talking about My Juju, a fragrance created by Natalie Feistauer. You know what? I gotta be honest with you guys. I actually sampled this fragrance all the way back in 2019, but thanks to COVID, things got delayed. Well, I don't wanna thank COVID, but yeah, things, things got delayed and finally it's out though. And you know what? As soon as I smelled it, I, I immediately knew that I loved it. It's vanilla, but this one leans to the floral side and also goes green on me. Either way, I'll let you know all about this one. Before I do though, if this is your first time tuning into my channel and you still haven't subscribed, uh, please do subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And uh, as I said, there is a promo code. It's Tenjara. You can save 10% uh, off of everything at Lucky Scent for a limited time, but there are brand uh, exclusions. So double check to see what works and what doesn't. Uh, most likely Indult Paris uh, works. And I do recommend this one if you like uh, floral fragrances with lots of vanilla. Uh, and you know, uh, also recommend some of the other fragrances from this house uh, like Tijota. But Indult Paris My Juju is a 2021 launch. It's created by Natalie Feistauer. Price size 50 ml, 220. You can also get a sample, which is $6. The concentration is Eau de Parfum. I would call this a vanillic floral, but uh, you know, you can go to the extent and say it's an amber floral. It wears very floral and also wears very vanillic. And as I said, there's that discount code. You can also click the link to uh, My Juju in the info box. Head over there to find out more information about My Juju and also Indult Paris's Tijota and some of the other fragrances such as Revanqueer, Manacara, and Isvaraya. The four fragrances that uh, Indal Paris had before my juju were all created by Francis Kirkjian. Yes, Francis Kirkjian, who of Maison Francis Kirkjian, created those four fragrances before he launched his own brand. And Indal Paris hasn't launched a single fragrance since those initial fragrances, and it's been about uh, you know 13 years since uh, that the brand has launched any uh, fragrances. And this one is created by Natalie Feistauer and she's been, uh, you know, doing a lot of fragrances lately. She's done some really, really great stuff, great work for many different niche houses. If you look up her name, you'll find a lot of different uh, fragrances she's credited to. In fact, I, I believe she's uh, done fragrances for very well-known designers as well as I think after she went independent, uh, she's been doing a lot of uh, uh, fragrances for niche houses, uh, independent niche houses. But uh, My Juju features notes of bergamot, tangerine, pink peppercorn, lily of the valley, jasmine, cardamom, hedione, tonka beans, vanilla, cedarwood, vetiver, coffee, amber, musks. So there's a lot of stuff going on in here. Of course, as the fragrance settles, and settles to the, the base notes, it gets warmer and warmer, but up top, it's all very fresh. In fact, this fragrance for me wears more fresh spicy versus warm spicy. Plus, as I said, there's lots of greenness for me, and most likely the greenness is coming from that gorgeous Lily of the Valley note that's uh, very, very prominent here. Anytime I see Lily of the Valley in fragrances, it's definitely a white floral, but it always has a very green leaning smell to it, which I quite like. Here, it's giving this fragrance, or what I should say is the Lily of the Valley in this fragrance is cutting away at the warmth of the vanilla, and it's kind of taking it into more of a fresh direction. When I say fresh, I'm not saying it's like a freshy, just has a more of a fresh experience rather than an uber warmth to 
it because of a lot of the notes. But the fragrance starts off with the spiciness of the pink peppercorn, but it's also very fizzy with the uh, citruses up top. So you've got this kind of like fizzy, sparkly spiciness that starts things off. But immediately it goes to the white flowers and we've got, like I said, the prominent lily of the valley along with jasmine here. So it's a combination of those two. But for me, I feel like the greenness of the lily of the valley stands out in this fragrance and also the floral aspects of the jasmine stands out more. So it's kind of like it's giving me the best of both worlds. I'm getting more floral touches from the jasmine, green touches from the lily of the valley, if that makes sense to you guys. There's a little bit of spices in here from cardamom as well. Very familiar uh, aromatic spice, which I really, really like, but it's not necessarily so prominent. But finally, when the fragrance is going into its base notes, it's becoming very, very vanillic but you still have that kind of white floral experience here. Of course, we throw in some, you know, uh, uh, some gourmandish touches with coffee, but it becomes woody and ambery in the base as well. So it's a gorgeous wear. It's a really, really beautiful wear. And as I said, as soon as I smelled this one back in 2019, yes, I did get a preview of it. I thought this is going to be a great addition to this house, uh, especially since Tehota is such a popular fragrance. People seem to love it. Like once people smell it, it becomes their favorite vanilla. Uh, it's mostly uh, kind of like a combination of this you know, warm, spicy, lightly boozy vanilla contrasted with lots of musk. It's very, very gorgeous. It's very, very cozy. This one to me is a little more complex. I shouldn't say little. It's a lot more complex. There's, there's a lot more going on in the notes and it wears definitely like an experience. Whereas Tihota is all vanilla, light booze and musk and things like that. So there's some more stuff going on in this uh, fragrance. And as I said also, it's definitely not as warm warm, spicy as Tihota is. This one definitely has some uh, freshness to it and I believe it's coming not only from the floral notes but also that greenness from the lily of the valley note. Anyway, those are my thoughts on uh, my Juju from uh, Indult Paris. Are you familiar with this house? Are you familiar with um, Tihota or any of the other uh, three fragrances in addition to Tihota, like Revanquir, Manakara, Isvaraya? You know, I have reviews on the channel of various fragrances of this house. You can go catch them. But let me know your thoughts on my Juju. Uh, does it sound like a great fragrance to you? What are your thoughts about this whole white floral combination with uh, the warm vanillic touches of the vanilla and the amber and things like that here. Let me know if the sound is great to you. And also, as I said, there is that discount code, promo code, it's Tenjara. You can use it on anything in the store. It's good for uh, limited time. So uh, go, you know, go check this out and perhaps get samples or bottles there. And of course, anything else uh, minus the uh, brand exclusions, uh, you can take advantage of that promo code, which is also very, very exciting to do. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video on Indult Paris's My Juju. Let me know your thoughts on this fragrance. Let me know if you've sampled Tihota or if you've sampled this one yet as it's brand spanking new. I'd like to find out who knows this house. Did you know that it was uh, the original four fragrances were created by Francis Kirkchen? I've spoken about it on the channel many times, but perhaps you didn't know. Anyway, I appreciate you tuning in today. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. <laughs>